Luka Doncic and the Mavs defiant, saying they're not done yet. Have plenty of fight left. Which will it be? And good evening, everyone. With JJ Redick and Doris Burke, Mike Green, I'm Ham, Lisa Salters with us as well. Welcome to Game Four of the NBA Finals. The Boston Celtics have not lost a playoff game in 36 days. That's 10 in a row, and they've done it with great, just great team basketball. But nobody's playing any better than Jalen Brown right now, Doris. Mike, it seems like the best players in this league take their most painful experiences and use it to strengthen their resolve and to refine their game and their mind. And Jalen Brown has done exactly that. He talked about the embarrassment of the last couple of seasons, losing in the Eastern Conference Finals Game 7 at home, and he has become the best version of himself. He is always dynamic as a driver getting downhill. But when I say attack, I mean both ends, stripping Luke and setting the tone on the defensive end has been a driving force of what they've done. With more on the Celtics, let's say I'm Lisa Salters. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mike. Well, the Celtics' mantra throughout these playoffs has been whatever it takes, however long it takes. So no surprise that when I asked Jason Tatum if he's allowed himself to think of possibly being crowned an NBA champion tonight, he said nope. Joe Mazzulla has told the team the closer you are to knocking out your opponent, the closer they can be to surviving because when you start to relax, that's when you are most vulnerable. Jalen Brown said, yes, we're going to get this done. But he said it's about staying in the moment. Brown said he's only focused on winning one more game. And whether that's tonight or game five, six, or seven, Mike, doesn't matter to Boston. All right, Lisa, time for tonight's Domino's pregame HQ about the Dallas Mavericks. They say they still believe. Of course they're going to say that. But what you know you can expect is Luka Doncic, after what happened at the end of game three, he's going to come out with a vengeance. What type of game do you want to see from him? The Dallas Mavericks don't have a huge margin for error against the Boston Celtics. For them to win tonight, Luka Doncic has to be at his best. What does that mean? Well, it starts with his step back three. His ability to create separation is second to none. Joe Mazzulla wants to get Doncic inside the arc. When he does drive, he has to score efficiently. And this is a guy who can make any pass on the basketball floor. His teammates have to knock down open shots. But Doncic also has to be fully engaged defensively and focus solely on the game. Will we crown a champion tonight? Or do the Mavericks join the Celtics on a trip back to Boston? We'll find out soon enough. Let's go to PA announcer, Sean Heaton. It's time for game four of the NBA Finals, presented by YouTube TV. Bad fans, we ask those who are able to please rise and kindly remove your hats as we honor America. Tonight's national anthem will be performed by Jennifer Kennedy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the ragged dragons the bombers Ball. It feels great to be on 3-0 play. 